Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I've got the C26000, the new monster charger for my boxer. It comes in a cute little box like this, with all the features on the back. The list of sizes supported by this charger. A QR code leading to myboxer.com and a mention of 4 years warranty. So let's open the box. Here is the charger. And user's manual in English. It's printed on a quality paper. And it contains all the necessary information for using the charger. There is also the power adapter in a holder. Let's take it out. Here it is, the holder. And the power adapter is the European version. Gives out three amps at 12 volts. It's a little bit bigger than C2 4000 charger, but uh, the 4000 charger gives out two amps. This one gives three amps. So let's plug it in and see how it works. When there is no battery inserted, the C26000 shows the model number and two empty battery signs. The LCD display's brightness is on during one minute and after one minute of inactivity it starts dimming out. After 40 seconds it is completely off. This charger supports lithium-ion 4.2 volt batteries as well as nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium batteries. So uh, let's insert a lithium ion battery. It has automatically detected the battery type and it shows uh, the charge percentage. Uh, we have 100% uh, so it's fully charged. That's why it shows uh, full here. So let's change the battery and insert not fully charged battery. Here we have 3% of charge and it shows also the channel number, the time passed, the amount of capacity loaded in, the temperature, the voltage, internal resistance and uh, uh, charge current automatically detected by this charger. This charger can automatically detect the best charging current for each battery and as it has uh, two independent slots uh, we can mix the battery types so I will now insert a nickel metal hydride type battery in the first slot it has detected the battery type it shows the channel number the percentage of charge we can uh, switch between uh, first and second slots by short pressing this button now it displays uh, the information for the second slot and we go back to the first slot. For the nickel type batteries this charger supports uh, charging current from 0.1 to 1 amp. Uh, we can select between them. To enter the uh, charging current selection we need to long press the button and then select the charging current. After one amp, uh, it shows uh, the automatically detected best current for this battery, but you can select another current. 0 0.7 amp, for example. And for uh, lithium ion type batteries, we can choose between 0 0.1 to 3 amps. There we go. I've chosen 40 amps here. Here we go. Let's move on. 
The MyBoxer C2 6000 has a lithium ion repairing function and uh, if a protected lithium ion cell goes under voltage it can reactivate that battery by applying standard charging method until the voltage rises. It can also repair uh, down charge to zero volt uh, lithium ion batteries by applying trickle uh, current but if it doesn't succeed to arise the voltage it will display error and uh, quit charging. The MyBoxer C2 6000 is able to control the battery temperature in charging process and when the temperature reaches 60 degrees it starts reducing the charging current to prevent damage to the battery but if the temperature reaches 70 degrees it stops the charging and displays error on its display. The C2-6000's power bank function is only available when the charger is not connected to the external power supply and there is a lithium ion battery inserted with voltage greater than 3.3 volts. Now the charger is connected to the external power supply and if we try to connect a USB device nothing will happen. So let's disconnect it and disconnect the charger from power supply and reconnect the USB device. You can see the charging has started, the red light is on. The charger automatically selects the battery with greater voltage. In this case it has chosen the first channel, so it has chosen this battery. It shows the USB output current. It supports uh, current up to 1 amp. And we can manually switch the channels by long pressing the slot button. So you can see we have switched to the second channel and uh, if the battery's voltage goes below 3.3 volts the charger automatically chooses uh, another channel if there is a battery with uh, voltage greater than 3.3 volts and if there is no battery or the battery's voltage is below 3.3 volts the charger automatically uh, stops uh, power bank function. It also stops the power bank function if there is no load on USB port during 20 seconds. The power bank function is not supported with uh, nickel type batteries, it's only supported with lithium ion type batteries. Let's compare the C2-6000 with C2-4000. As you can see, they are both two slot chargers and they are almost identical but the C2-6000 is a little bit narrower than the 4000. They have the same LCD display. The C2-4000 has more rounded corners and it has two buttons instead of one button on 6000. The C2-4000 needs 2 amps from its power supply. The 6000 needs 3 amps. The 4000 supports discharging function, that's why it has a fan on its top to prevent overheating while discharging. The 6000 doesn't have discharging function, so it doesn't have any fan here, but it has a USB port because it supports power bank function and it can serve as a power bank if there is a lithium ion battery inserted which has enough charge. It can give out up to 1 amp from its USB port. The C2-4000 supports lithium ferrophosphate and lithium ion 4.45 volt batteries which are not supported by C2-6000. For lithium ion batteries, uh, the charging current uh, can be selected from 0.2 to 1.5 amps on C2-4000 and from 0.1 to 3 amps on C2-6000. That's a big difference I think. For nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium batteries uh, they both offer charging current from 0.1 to 1 amps but the C2-6000 offers more choices of charging current than the C2-4000.
and uh, while charging the batteries C26000 shows the battery temperature uh, while the C24000 shows the temperature only in discharging mode. Here is a table with comparison of two models. You can look at it and compare them. So in the end we have an intelligent charger uh, with two independent slots which is capable of charging uh, at currents up to 5 amps. It supports all the major types of batteries like lithium ion 4.2 volt, nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium batteries. It has several interesting functions like displaying uh, the amount of capacity charged in, uh, temperature control function, activation of protected lithium ion batteries uh, which are gone under voltage, repairing uh, lithium ion batteries which are discharged to zero volt, and uh, the most interesting power bank function which works with lithium ion batteries but uh, C26000 has several disadvantages. The first one I would like to mention is the absence of support of lithium ion 4.35 volt and lithium ferrophosphate batteries. The second disadvantage is the absence of uh, discharging function. I would like to see a discharging function in the C26000. The fourth disadvantage is that the power bank function uh, cannot work uh, while the charger is connected to the power supply. You must first disconnect it from the power supply and insert a lithium ion battery. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and bye bye.